Hey guys, so welcome to another video. This time I'm going to be showing some of the best graphics for the Android platform. So I'm going to be, uh, you know, showcasing a few games and just showing you how they look like. And uh, just as well as a bit of background information on all of them. So um, I'm going to be using the Asus Transformer Prime because it's going to be a pretty good candidate because it has the 4 core processor. It may not be the uh, fastest processor, the Tegra 3, but it is probably the most supported in terms of games. Uh, Tegra 3 has their own marketplace with, you know, um, updated graphics for the particular chips. So that's why I chose to use the Transformer Prime for this. So moving on to our first game, powered by NVIDIA Tegra of course, it is called Dark Meadow. Now this game is also powered by Unreal Technologies. And of course Unreal Engine 4 is used in uh, some PC and PS3 titles such as Bioshock Infinite. And uh, as you can see it looks absolutely great so uh, you can tell they know what they're doing. So Unreal Engine is a real solid platform. And this game is no different. Uh, just looking at it from the very beginning, you can see that it looks absolutely great. So even as good as some PS2 titles and maybe some early PS3 titles even, um, you know, at a glance it actually looks brilliant. So uh, this game's a pretty interesting concept. It's kind of like you've woken up in an asylum or something of the sort. And you have to kind of find out what's going on and you collect gold and weapons along the way to fight any enemies that may come. Um, the one real annoying thing that annoys me about this game and the major major gripe I have with it is the way uh, it functions when you have to actually move around to a place like um, you know I understand that it's easy to just point and tap somewhere but some people actually do want the freedom of just walking wherever they like within a game but um, you know that's that's a minor thing as you can see here the details are great so that's just um, me showing you the uh, the water that you can see dripping you can see all the effects on the walls and the bump mapping and uh, everything like that is just insane for a mobile game it actually looks really great you can see the Tegra 3 uh, um, graphics chip working here the uh, customizations and the uh, enhancements that have done for Tegra 3 really look amazing you can see all the dust particles in the air and the the splashes from the water and everything like that uh, even if you just go up close and look at the walls you can see that they're um, you know fully uh, look great now here's an enemy that's just come up and um, you know all you have to do is kind of just tap here and there and it either hits him or misses and you can just dive to the left or right depending on uh, what attack he does. Now, if you look, think, look at this and think it looks a little bit familiar, if you remember Infinity Blade, which also uses the Unreal Engine, it's pretty much the same thing. So, not a lot of difference there. The um, fight mechanics are pretty much the same. Just swipe and slash your way through. Um, you know, so all in all, it's, it is a good game, but I'm just a bit annoyed at how you have to tap into places to get anything happening. So... I would rather just walk around. Another thing is uh, you can notice that the scrolling is fluid and smooth when I just flick my finger, but if I actually drag my finger around, it gets a little choppy, so I'm not sure if uh, the uh, GPU is trying to track every single miller <laughs> miller pixel my hand moves, but I don't know, it's just a thing I noticed. But yeah, overall it is a good game, and I definitely recommend trying it out from the Play Store. So here again I'll just show you some of the foliage, um, and to really see the graphics in detail right there. So. Yeah, it's a good game. Moving over from the first-person shooter horror kind of genre, we kind of go to something a little bit lighter. Um, this thing's called uh, this game's called Demolition Inc. And uh, basically, what it is is it's uh, you're a alien kind of thing, and uh, you have to save Earth in a very unique way. You have to demolish all of the man-made structures using different objects such as cars and things like that. And uh, in place, trees grow. So. I'm not sure if it's kind of a uh, <laughs> underground movement to an environmentalist way of thinking, but I don't know. It's an interesting concept and a pretty cool game. Uh, the reason I chose this game to put in this video is because of the, dis the destruction uh, mechanics and physics. It looks um, pretty cool when you destroy things, but uh, you can kind of tell it's a little bit preset, but it is still fun to just uh, uh, muck around. So you can p place different things down to get the cars to um, destroy things so I've just put an oil slick there and it drove up a interestingly placed ramp uh, into a building and destroyed it but you can also do different things such as possess cars somehow and you can actually drive the cars around to crash into things or um, you know there's heaps of other little uh, utilities you can use to blow up things and get things uh, to be chaotic but um, it is a good game and I do recommend you checking it out on uh, the Play Store as well now I'm not sure if it's only for Tegra 3 but um, it is a good game nonetheless and there you go there's some trees growing now if you can't really be bothered thinking and you just want to kill some zombies there's a game called Dead Trigger and it's uh, by Madfinger Games the guys who made Shadow Gun 
and also powered by Unreal Engine, I'm pretty sure. So, you know, this game looks almost exactly the same as Shadow Gun, except it's got zombies this time. But um, nevertheless, it is a pretty good game. Graphics look great, as usual, for uh, Madfinger standards. Um, the only differences would be that top radar on the left-hand corner and a whole bunch of different weapons. And there are various other um, changes throughout the game, but more or less you just go around and shoot zombies in the head and you get rewarded for headshots. Now I haven't really played <laughs> played that far into it but so far so good and um, I'm not sure how much it cost. I think it was free actually so you know just uh, check it out if you have a Tegra 3 device and even if you don't I'm pretty sure all you'll be missing out on is those particles floating around and a um, few other damages against um, uh, bump mat surfaces. But anyway um, it is a good game and I recommend you checking this one out. That's Dead Trigger. Uh, moving on to another puzzle type of game. This one is called Puddle, and it is a accelerometer game, uh, a puzzle game that involves you getting liquid from one place to its destination. Uh, that's the description in its uh, simplest form. But the way you get it there is the interesting part because you can do quite a few things to manipulate the environment to get your liquid to its destination. You can even uh, use the liquid itself to manipulate the environment. So uh, I thought that was quite interesting and it is a pretty fun game and of course it looks absolutely great as you can see with the depth of field effects there. Um, yeah, so I recommend picking this one up. It is it is a tad expensive though at four ninety nine Australian so that's only if you really want to try out this puzzle game but otherwise um, you might want to stick to something cheaper such as um, uh, maybe Apparatus or something. Now what would be an Android game countdown without the Gameloft team? Now these guys have made a whole bunch of games for Android, but this one's a bit of an older one, but I still like it because of uh, some things that I'll get to later. This one is called 9mm HD. I'm pretty sure most of you have it or have heard of it, but um, I'll just uh, show you why I like this one. Now, some of the textures aren't the best, kind of reminds me of uh, probably GTA Vice, Vice City graphics, but a little bit better than that, but the game mechanics and game motion is what I like in this game. So. Um, when you swing the camera around it kind of pans um, on its on its axis or hinges if that makes sense so it's a, a bit more of a fluid motion while in motion running and doing other things and you of course have that Max Payne style um, time slow down thing where you can do bullet time and shoot people in slow motion which I thought was um, quite generic but pretty cool nonetheless now this, this is the kind of game where you kind of just go around and play along it's not it's not that involved or um, that unique it's kind of like any other cop shooter up game but it's uh, still fun um, anyway and I do like it quite a bit so uh, it's a good game to just casually play and um, you know if you don't mind forking out two or three dollars you can you can have it so um, that is nine millimeter HD um, yes now for something very unique, uh, this one's called Machinarium. First came out on iOS, uh, I think very late last year, or maybe the beginning of this year, but has just been ported to Android a couple of weeks ago. Now this game is, um, it's very, very uh, artistically great, I'd say. Um, it's like nothing I've quite ever seen before. It's, um, you know, it's st I think it's hand-drawn, but some of the animation is uh, computer done. But it's kind of like a little story, and uh, you're this robot that has to kind of find his way around while solving different puzzles. And even uh, every little detail in this game is great. Like even in the menu, there's a little mini game that you can play that I just found on my first time playing it. So that was pretty cool. But yeah, so you have to kind of um, sort out what's going on and find. You have to be extremely observant to your surroundings so in your environment there are different interactable materials that aren't always obvious so you have to kind of string them together and figure out how to get to the next part of your journey so I thought this was a great game and very unique and definitely worth checking out or picking up because um, I haven't quite seen anything like it ever before and I uh, probably won't see one like it uh, to for a very long time so check that out and um, that's the end of the video so <laughs> don't forget to rate comment and subscribe cheers guys if you guys wanted to see some other games in this video or um you know just other general android games that you want to recommend to me just let me know in the comments and i might make another video of some of the great android games that we have thanks for watching guys